I just picked up this piece, which I really hope works with this sink because then I can finish up this other drain pipe and then hopefully very soon I can test the water system and make sure it works. Does that go up with it? Ah. What? No. Do you see this? This goes on, but it doesn't go past here. Work. I painted the doors to the shed last night, but if you can see that, it got a little warped in the middle there. And so I'm gonna try and flatten them out and then maybe put a cross piece to sort of keep it straight. And then I'll put those up. And then the other thing is this, which I the plumbing doesn't look great, but that has to be exposed because these are the turn on and offs for the uh, the hot and cold water. Um, and then I'm gonna go all the way up and you create a little box box thing at the top there for the shower head so that it's not it's still accessible. And then I'm also sorry I got a splinter. Uh, okay, um, and then this whole area is going to be painted white. has been polyurethaned. Part of this wall has down at the bottom, but this part hasn't. And so I need to rough th these walls that have been polyurethaned up with some like medium sandpaper and then paint over it with white um, paint and primer. the sanding which means now I'm going to take paper towel and wipe down the walls to get all the little small particles off.
think I'm done with tiny house work for today. I painted the bathroom, worked on the shed, and finished up the paneling earlier before I painted. So really happy that that's done. I need to repaint the bathroom a second coat. I need to paint the shed a second coat. I also hung those doors. Yes, the doors for the shed. And I have some finishing work to do on the shed. And then I have super exciting news. I bought a stove for the winter time. It's a wood stove. Um, and it's coming in three days. So that's super, super exciting. And my thoughts... Um, the guy that I bought it from handmade the whole thing and gave me tons of helpful full advice about everything and how I need to set it up and those sort of precautions. I mean, I'm no expert, but I am going to make sure I do it right because I do not need my house burning down or having any problems. So, that being said, I'm thinking that it will go over here right about in the middle there kind of by the stairs and by the window there um, I felt like that was more central than it was originally going to be where I was sitting right there but that then kind of blocks off that side of the living room or whatever else you want to call it um, so let me have it on this side, I think, and then I can still have a lot of space here that's open. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll insert a photo here to show you guys what it looks like. It's really, really cool, small. I feel like it's going to be a perfect stove. It has a little plate on top so that I can heat hot water up or maybe a little bit of cooking, but I don't think I'll need that. Um, yeah.